Good morning. Hello to everyone out there. Welcome to another uh, Kerfuffle Showcase. Absolutely delighted to have Costas with me today. How are you, Costas? From I'm very well, Simon. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for having me. Good stuff. And obviously, you're representing Good Lord here today. So uh, we're going to jump into that in, in a second here. But first of all, congratulations on a couple of points. First of all, oh, well, we're wearing a, a, a pink shirt there. Or you did say to me that you tried to at least go kerfuffle. I think I think if we're honest there, Costas, though, that's one of those white shirts that's had a red sock in, in the washing machine, isn't it, really? It, it wasn't It wasn't a full-on pink, was it? It's a COVID shirt. It's one of the few that still fits at the moment, so uh, we're doing well. <laughs> I'm I'm in the wonderful prop tech world of elasticated pants and t-shirts. <laughs> and then and then let's just deal with the second reason I need to congratulate you as well, which is the title of of today's uh, today's today's uh, show. Oh, good lord! Swear by your software, not at it. If that uh, I sent you, I sent you an email. That was a Simon Whale headline. If ever I'd seen one, so. Uh, yes, congratulations to your marketing people on that front. So, Costa, you, uh, give us a give us an overview. First of all, actually, just give us a bit of background about yourself, because of course you've got a long and illustrious uh, history in this industry, and it's worth uh, obviously detailing there to, to before we start talking about uh, obviously Good Lord itself. No, absolutely no. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, so yes, yeah, so, you know, for the past twenty five years, I've been working in all different industries, looking at solutions, whether they be software, hardware, uh, any marketing. Uh, but just looking at how we can continue to improve businesses and uh, help people with their needs. Um, the last 15 of those years, I've actually been in the property industry. Um, don't hold it against me, but I joined Rightmove in 2005. Um, and actually, when I joined Rightmove, it was actually to help them launch the lettings division. So believe it or not, in 2005, um, there wasn't even a, 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 a a click at the top for you to actually search for lettings properties. Um, so uh, it was literally from scratch. So I started in the world of lettings, um, yeah. spent 11 to 12 years with Good Lords. During that time, I focused a lot of my time on, once again, value. So I looked at things such as uh, reporting, data, uh, looked at best practice, uh, also helped launch the, um, the webinars and seminars. Uh, that we used to do around the country as well. And actually, the first two or three I presented myself. Um, so it was all about value. And uh, and as I said, before I left Right Move, I was also I took up roles such as uh, sales director and commercial operations director as well. Um, so really, really understood quite a lot. I think the secret to my success is actually um, getting very close to the best agents in the country. One of the benefits you have at Right Move yeah. is that you can... You've got the whole of market. You've got all the data. And what it allowed me to do was steal lots and lots of great ideas from lots of great agents uh, and then mould them and share them with other agents to try and make the whole industry uh, a much stronger, much stronger place. Um, left, that really uh, can't, be, can't, be, can't be overstated right. that, though, can it really, cost us That ability to, as you said, to, to work with the best agents over a period of time even just by osmosis, you're going to pick up a lot of great ideas and best practice, aren't you? Oh, it's, it, you know, it's been brilliant. Anything that we've accomplished, anything, whether it's the webinars, whether it's the data, the reports, um, any of the products, um, that's all been based on watching agents do stuff exceptionally well and thinking, great, how can we how can we share that? How can we do that? How can everybody benefit from best practice? Because obviously, if we have a healthier market, we all win. Uh, so that was definitely a, a real learning curve for me. And I, and I still stay in contact with a lot of those agents uh, 15 years later. And, uh, uh, yeah, they're still helping me today in terms of what the future looks like. Excellent. And um, and just give us uh, just give us an overview. Actually, tell us, what was it about? What was it about Good Lord that really attracted you on a personal level, first of all, about the opportunity to join them? Sure. Well, well, cheekily, when I when I left Right Move, uh, the plan was to have a bit of a break. But actually, uh, I ended up um, helping out John Notley build, obviously, the zero deposit model. Um, but then I also started consulting for other yeah. businesses that were offering services. So whether it was utilities, whether it was insurance, um, but still within the industry. Um, and actually, Good Lord kept coming up as a key competitor for any of the suppliers that I was uh, I was working with. And looking at their model and what they were doing and how how could we benefit from some of the learnings and successes of Good Lord. Um, and then out yeah. of the blue, uh, I was contacted by Tom Mundy uh, while I was actually on holiday in Australia. Um, and he said to me, you know, heard, heard, heard quite a bit about me and they were looking for someone 
um, to come in and head up the growth of the business um, and someone uh, who understood uh, the industry uh, and also had experience right, as a supplier um, and asked me if I would join. So um, I'd already, uh, I was already quite excited just by the call about actually yeah. sitting down with Tom and the team, um, you know, just blew me away in terms of their approach, the fact that they are, they're young, they're hungry, they want the best for the customer. Um, they want to continue improving stuff. They're not just there to do a job. Um, they actually want to accomplish and be the best at what they do. Um, and that's something that, you know, I, I'd been, I was looking for and uh, really aligned with what I was looking for. That's great. I think, I think you've done a really good job, if I'm honest. I think the, you know, you, one of the things that uh, I think people, I, lots of people going up to about a couple of years ago had, had heard about Good Lord, obviously knew the name, but they weren't entirely sure, you know, the full gamut of what it was about. And I think the, the, um, you know the, the the information and the way you've refocused it has been really has been much clearer over that period of time. Really starting to obviously um, communicate is really powerful. Your monthly mailers and and research documents are without a shadow of a doubt some of the some of the very best in the industry. And I encourage everybody to go to your website just just for resource. Yeah, I think. One of the, uh, you know, one of the great things has been, um, you know, in terms of uh, trying to get that communication of what we do, because we are very unique. And what agents try and do is pigeonhole us. So are you a PMS? Are you an insurance yeah. provider? Are you a referencing provider? And it's very difficult when we are supplying a full pre-tenancy service and we're taking the place of six or seven suppliers to explain what we do, because it's something very unique uh, and and that agents haven't seen before um, and that's really been one of the biggest challenges for me and the team is to get that message across in terms of what we can do and how we can help and I think we've got much better at that and but we still continue to uh we take opportunities like today uh to try and inform people exactly who we are and so let's get just to do a really just before we go into a bit of detail just give us the uh, elevator pitch of what 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 good lord is about at the moment then what 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 you know what does it have the ability to help agents out out with yeah Sure. Well, so at the heart of everything we do is our award-winning uh, pre-tenancy platform. Um, it's been built to work alongside CRMs and PMSs. We're not looking to replace them. Um, you know, typically that's not their key function. Um, and actually what we're trying to do, that gap in between that PMSs and CRMs don't feel very well or don't even try to feel, um, yeah. and that's the pre-tenancy journey. So that's where we are, the experts. We don't try and be anything else. We're, we're focused on that part of the journey. And we do it exceptionally well. Um, if you look at um, what our customers say about us, if you ask one of our customers, what is it about Good Lord? What's changed within your business on the introduction of Good Lord? Um, the kind of areas they would cover are things like time saving. So for a typical agent, we can reduce about 60% of their admin time. And that's time that they're doing bits of the admin the fluff um, that technology can easily take care of, but also uh, the time they spend chasing tenants and landlords to sign documents, to make payments, um, to follow through on sending information over. We're able to really focus on, on that and cut that time out and leave the, the, the important key parts to that to the agent where they still have great control and they have full-time visibility um, so they can obviously push those deals through. Um, another area that we really helped and really stood out for us, especially around the tenant fee ban, was compliance. So our platform has been built to take care of all the compliance within the pre-tenancy journey. Um, so whether or not uh, it's around making sure that your documents are the most up-to-date and compliant with today's legislation, whether it's about making sure those documents are sent at the right time so that you're not breaking uh, any rules and putting your landlords at risks, but also the certifications and expiry of those certifications, everything you need to make sure that you're compliant and there's no manual errors, Good Law takes care of that for you during the pre-tenancy service. So it's one less thing you need to worry about and you can focus on the important things um, and probably last thing that they would probably mention is our revenue generation. Um, yeah. So one of the key things for the, the platform is because we control the whole uh, journey, or we're part of the whole journey alongside the agent from the start of the pre-tenancy to the end, it means that we can introduce the services and we can introduce the products that agents need, but also that tenants and landlords buy, whether they're going to buy them from them or whether they'll buy them from somewhere else. What yeah. we're able to do is present those products, whether they're insurance, utilities, anything may be at the best optimum level, because we can see where they are in the journey and we can see how they're behaving during that journey. 
which means that agents get a much higher conversion and a, a really big opt-in because it's all branded to the agent. So from a tenant perspective, what you're not getting is six different brands contacting you, one for utilities, one for a signature, one for a payment. Um, you're not getting lots of different brands emailing you and it's a broken journey because it's all in one place. We're able to make that seamless and make that journey much faster and, and a, a much better experience for everyone involved. Excellent. You know, you made that point at the beginning that obviously you, um, you, you you obviously work with CRMs. It's not an area that the CRMs really get involved with. That 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 really does resonate. It resonates with me. It's really true. Why do you have any idea why the CRMs don't particularly seem to 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 have developed their functionality in this particular area? Is it just because it's just a difficult, particularly maybe not you know particularly glitzy part of the of the process? Um, I, I think it's not the it's not the fundamental reason why you first enter into a CRM or PMS conversation with someone or, or look for that supplier. Um, if yeah. you look at what we've done over the so we launched in 2014, we've spent you know over 20 million pounds in trying to develop the system we have today. Um, so from a, I think from a PMS and a CRM perspective, um, yeah, they've got their own battles. You know, the the the, the industry is ever changing um, and the needs are ever changing, and they've probably got enough on their plate already. Um, and yeah, what we've proven is the pre-tenancy process alone is a whole unique journey and a whole uh, requires a whole focused supplier on that that journey alone. Um, and as I say, it's worked really well. We've got quite a lot of a few partners now in terms of CRMs and PMSs out in the marketplace, um, and it's and it's really fitted really well in terms of us taking part of that that middle part of the journey and allowing them to be great at the parts that they they were brought in to do. And I bet you you must be really pleased then, because obviously for a long period of time, the CRM products have been quite a close shot. And actually, over the last couple of years, that, that they're really starting to open up and look at integrations in a much more positive fashion, aren't they? Yeah, and I think I think you know that we were also you know I think people they're also looking over their shoulders to say, well, where do good law go next? You know, because they've they've nailed that part of the journey. Does that mean that they're suddenly going to start becoming a, a CRM? Um, you know, and yeah. We can guarantee you, you know, I'm being videoed, uh, that is not an interest to us. There's still so much we can do in terms of the pre-tenancy journey, but also where we take the user experience, the tenants, the landlords, the agents after the pre-tenancy journey. So, And that's where our focus will be. And that's where we'll keep developing and keep improving uh, and keep delivering new things to the market. Um, so, you know, we're, we're not crossing swords of anybody, which is which is good. That's nice. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so you mentioned, obviously, challenges earlier. I think we got out of jail a little bit yesterday with uh, the announcement we're obviously not heading into a full lockdown. Um, how, have you been, how have you been supporting your clients, though, and customers during the whole COVID experience? Yeah, so obviously, you know, I was around in 2008, 2009, although slightly different, has quite a few similarities. Yeah. Uh, and so have a lot of our senior team as well. Um, but also just talking to agents, you know, some of the lessons we learned, I think the direction we took was, if we're going to be successful, our agents need to be around and successful as well. Um, yeah. And the three key areas that we looked at in terms of where we could support was one, uh, in terms of cash flow. So how can we support them with cash flow during these difficult times? They couldn't go out, they couldn't do viewings, they couldn't do new tenancies. Um, the second one um, was around um, what parts of their business are still functioning, they can still earn revenue from, and how do we do that for them? Um, and uh, and the third one was really supporting uh, supporting them in terms of some the new challenges that were coming up. Um, so from a from a cash flow perspective, we offered all our agents the opportunity to go on a pay as you go model. So rather yeah. than keep paying subscriptions, full subscriptions, uh, what we did was we uh, allowed them to go on a pay as you go. So if, if you did a deal and you got paid, can you pay us as well? But if you're not doing any deals at the moment, that's fine. You won't be charged any subscriptions during that time. Um, from a tech perspective, our team focused very much on the renewals um, and we improved the renewals process through the platform to so the renewals was still happening for agents where they were still. Um, and we actually gave renewals free to our agents as well. So we didn't charge them for the renewals. We wanted to make sure there was still money going into their businesses. Um, so from a cash flow perspective and from supporting the existing business, um, we, did, we did what we could uh, during that period yeah. and that ended uh, ended um, this uh, last month um, but uh, moving forward as well we also focused a lot of our time on energy on okay what's the future hold so 
how much how much difficult will it be to get hold of uh, referees for references and so on. So we've just launched a new suite of references that match the future and a future proof for our agents. Um, we also invested quite a lot of time in terms of our insurance products. Um, and I was quite pleased. Uh, and it's down to our insurance department. I had nothing to do with do with it. Uh, but Ollie Sherlock, head of our insurance, to make sure that agents still had a 12-month policy that paid out for 12 months and midterm policies available to landlords so that agents could protect their own businesses by protecting their landlords to make sure they got paid. Um, so, so there's been quite a lot going on. It's been quite busy, yeah. quite hectic. Um, but I'm really pleased how the team reacted. I'm really pleased how the business took took that on. Um, and, uh, you know, feedback from our members as well have been, you know, thank you for, for, for doing something without being asked, I think is the, the key message we got back. I think that's really nice. Yeah, I think Costas, you know, to do that stuff and be proactive makes all all, all the difference, doesn't it? And uh, you mentioned there insurance, the insurance world's been in, you know, in uh, what do they call it, politely flux, hasn't it, <laughs> over the yeah. period there. How uh, looking, at, you mentioned there, Ollie's, Ollie's been uh, sorting all that side of things. Have you got quite uh, a strong uh, selection of insurance products now? Yeah, no, we, we've been really fortunate. Look, you know, DAS have been an amazing partner for us. Um, I think DAS potentially took a different view to other insurers, um, which we've benefited us and benefited our customers, where they, where, where they were willing to make decisions based on the actual data they were seeing. I think a lot of insurance company probably been through this you know, similar times before with, with different products. Um, the first approach for many was to double prices and half the, half the cover, <laughs> if not pull the product completely. Um, our insurer was, was trusting of us, trusting in the quality of the referencing and the, the tenants that we put through based on claims up to that date. Um, and they, they trusted us based on the, the, the data to react along with the data. So it was probably two or three months into COVID before we had to make any changes to the cost of the product, but it's still probably the well, it's probably still the best uh, price product in the marketplace. And the main thing that we wanted to do is make sure that landlords still have 12 months cover for a 12 month tenancy, yeah. um, and that's something that disappeared from the market. And uh, and to be fair, you know, commercially as a sales director, worked really well for me. Um, so uh, you know, we've taken on a lot of business, um, mm -hmm. and a lot of landlords have been moving over. To some of our agents because um, they don't want to have their, their their tenancies out there without full cover. No, it's it's too much, isn't it? Great. And and so just talk us through a lot of a lot of businesses, obviously, a lot of suppliers in the industry will talk about one of their benefits of, of saving you time. Um, it's a very common uh, a common uh, thing there. Clearly, that's a big part of what you guys do. Can you put a bit of meat on the bone though? How exactly Good Lord obviously will save agents time. Yeah, so so the, the platform has been built to automate various parts of the journey. And it's the parts that uh, don't necessarily require that customer service, you know, that relationship building. Yeah. Um, you do understand it's still a people business and you still need to have strong relationships with your tenants and your landlords uh, to make sure you're a successful business. Um, so so in terms of how, how that work, that technology can cope with, but also we join them up using the platform in that journey, as I mentioned before. Um, so a perfect example would be when um, when, when, a, when a tenancy is started on, on Good Lord, um, Good Lord would automate from you just putting the details in once, the pre-qualification, it, it will join that pre-qualification up with the offer letter, it will join that up with the holding deposit payment, and it will join that up with completing the reference. So a tenant can do everything in one sitting with one supplier, and all of that in the background is branded by the agents. It's also trusted that all of these payments, all of these references and everything else are being done by the agent and not by third parties that are contacting them on a, on a broken chain. So what that means is because it's a, a sort of a one sitting uh, environment, um, we can get those important documents at the start of the tenancy back as quicker than other suppliers. Um, so that's one key one key part of how, how that works. I think the other part as well, because the platform does so much, not just in terms of the documentation or the additional services. What the platform was also quite good uh, at doing is um, is pulling all of those all of those services together uh, to make it a much a much better user experience. And it means that you put your details in once, and then from the start to the end of the tenancy, when the contract signed and they handed over the keys, you've only had to input that information once. So you're not duplicating from various suppliers. 
Excellent. Excellent. And uh, you mentioned revenue streams earlier in terms of there. Just give us a bit of background on, on how Good Lord can help you in that particular area as well. Yeah. So, um, so in terms of, in terms of revenue, um, because, you know, we're working alongside the agent with us, we have a really good view of where the tenant is in the journey, which means that we can push the right products and I'm biased, but they're market leading products, trust me, um, market leading products at the right times. So another perfect example of that is when a tenant is signing the AST, we will ask them, um, to update their details so utilities can be switched into their name. That provides a revenue generation for the agent, but what it also does is it means that obviously you know, they're not chasing the, uh, the council and the water to change over the details. They're not having to sort out the problem for the landlord because uh, bills have come into the landlord's name. It's all being dealt with in the background by us through the platform. Once again, it's taken away that, that, that focus. The other nice bit about the platform as well is because the tenants are, are logging into the platform. It's, it's their point of truth in terms of where they are in their, in their, in their journey. Um, we get to actually 100% opt-in on all the services that they're going to buy. So I say this all the time to agents. You know, the vast, vast majority of the tenants, if not all, are going to buy content insurance. They're going to buy broadband, okay? Uh, and they might decide to buy, you know, uh, other stuff as well. Um, if you're not offering those services or if you're unable, unable to get the opt-in for those services, you're, they're going to buy them somewhere else. And therefore, that revenue goes to somebody else. So what we yeah. try and do is keep them in the platform to make sure that revenue moves through to them. Um, and, and that's sort of one of the key points of the platform itself is all these services and the right timing. Ultimately, as you said, if positioned rightly, that's seen as a should be seen as a positive customer service element, isn't it? You don't you don't have to go hard sell because the, the simple answer is most of these people do want them at some stage. Absolutely, and having and having a message from the agent to say, would you like us to take care of moving all your utilities, your council tax, your water over to your name? Of course, they would. They don't, you know, they don't want that hassle. And as we know, as you know, as agents know, if they trust tenants to do it themselves chances are the majority of them never get around to it and uh, and then you're dealing with you're dealing with lots of hassle and bills for the landlord um so it's definitely a, it's a good it's a good thing for the agent good thing for the landlord and a good thing for the tenant does the uh, simplicity of the platform does that encourage uh, engagement from the tenant logging in and, and uh, as well is it, uh, is it is it often used by the tenants yeah absolutely not only obviously it's a cloud based system which means they can access it for any any medium they choose um but also we've also um this year introduced lots of tenant benefits um so anything from uh you know vouchers of of uh food food or uh local amenities so we've, we've, we've we're now building uh an environment if you will community for those yeah. tenants as well but once again it's branded the agent so from a tenant point of view they don't see it as good law they see it as okay the agents now supplying with me benefits and discounts of other services. This is quite good. I quite de- I quite like dealing with the agent, but it also draws them back into the platform, um, knowing that there's additional value there and, and savings and benefit uh, by using it effectively. Excellent. And, and does does Good Lord then replace your PMS? Um, no. So as, as mentioned before, um, there's a part of that journey um, that we we do better than anybody else, and it's a part of that journey that I would. Uh, would think most PMSs or CRMs would, would admit it's the part of the journey they probably focus least on. Um, so, you know, you know, we're building out our partnerships. We're talking to more and more of those PMSs and CRMs every day. Uh, we've just launched uh, a couple of really good ones, uh, a couple of really uh, good companies as well. Um, and what we're looking to do is really just slot in, slot in the bit that just makes that journey more effective for the agent uh, and join up the ends so that from an agent's perspective, they see that as a, a seamless journey. Well, I can certainly tell you, the uh, obviously I was at uh, Repit my previous days, and the only company I ever heard that he said he was really impressed with the product uh, was Good Lord, actually. Uh, he was not known for, for being particularly uh, nice about other things, but he just said it was a really slick system dealing with a very difficult def- difficult area. So you don't win any trophies with it for that, but you've got, you've got quite enough of those anyway. But believe me, that was quite a 
quite a, quite a, 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 an accolade to get from him at that stage. Um, <laughs> okay, you we were called sexy the other day, so I haven't been called sexy for a while. Um, <laughs> I think that, that, that I'm going to keep that one with me in terms of when people say, well, you know, what, tell me about the platform, it's sexy. Sexy. I, 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 I said by one of our clients. Sexy swearing by your software. You're just a you're just a big edgy brand, aren't you? <laughs> Uh, we've actually got someone here just obviously on uh, your five star rating, which is fantastic. Obviously, on Kerfuffle, and one of them was just made the point really smart, automated process. David Gilson, do you think that again is actually thanks, David? Do you think that again is one of the keys there that you have dealt with that automation piece probably better than anyone has done to date? Yeah, firstly, thank you, David. Yeah, I think I think it's, it's a lot easier to be fair to everybody, it's a lot easier for a supplier when you're focused on one part of the journey, yeah. And, uh, so you know your your whole team, um, the, the 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 challenges that you're having, uh, and the the need in the marketplace, you're able to really focus on those and make very quick and big improvements to that journey. So I think I think we're we're fortunate that we've not tried to do too much. And um, what we've tried to do is just become uh, the expert at one part of that journey. Um, and uh, and I've got a great team behind me so from a technology point of view. That's them, not me. Um, yep. but they execute it really well. And what is the size of the team there now, Costas? Um, so we're now we're now a team of 180. So we've grown to 180. Yeah. We've actually grown by about 40 people during COVID. Um, and that was another learning through COVID as well in terms of the amount of support that agents wanted. So we were caught out a little bit when obviously uh, lockdown ended. Um, and we had to ramp up the staff very quickly to get back to what we would consider and our agents would consider uh, good uh, SLAs uh, and return times. Um, so that was that's something we, we continued to grow. In terms of the business itself, we now look after about 900 uh, agency brands across the country. Uh, and if we look at the next 12 months from today, we're going to we're going to help agents deliver around 200,000 tenancies, and we're going to be supporting the user journey for probably nearly half a million landlords and tenants. Um, so, and we're, and we're growing every day. So, uh, really pleased with how things are moving. That's 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 incredible. That's a really really strong team, though, isn't it? Which shows obviously through the dev that you're doing and the customer support on the, on the back end as well. So that that is impressive. And what what do you see as the uh, what are you if you can tell us without obviously killing us? What it, what what are your own goals for the kind of the year ahead? I mean, it's it's tricky to do budgets or anything at the moment, isn't it? But yeah. what would you be happy with in twelve months' time if uh, you were to sit back and look over the 2021? Yeah, I think I think um, you know. I think carrying on where we are. So, you know, we're, we're very proud, you know, in terms of our retention rate, um, you know, over 98%, nearly 99% of customers stay with us. Some of those customers are bought out or, or go out of business. So they're not all people that choose to leave. Um, so we want to make sure we continue to offer that service level. And as I've said, we've had to increase the team to make sure that we can retain, retain that service. Um, in terms of other goals, uh, we are still looking at the journey. There's definitely changes we can make. Um, so uh, our, our current customers will be happy to hear that we will be launching things like the landlord terms of business in the new year. Um, we're also looking at how to improve payments, make them quicker, make them easier, um, and also looking at what other services we can bring into the business or improve uh, of the existing uh, products we have. Um, so I think 12 months time, I would love to be in a position where we continue on the growth that we have. We're still dealing with independent agents that are market leaders and uh, market challenges in their given areas, um, and they still call me sexy, or at least the platform. <laughs> uh, that's that'll be really exciting if obviously if, if that if that develops um what would you say um what would you say cost us to the i've heard some agents talking about in terms of the tenant referencing element that oh well it's all kind of been commoditized these days there's been kind of a race to the bottom in terms of pricing and therefore actually ser the service has, has, has changed as well is it is 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 that your experience of it, or do you still see that there's a real value and a qualitative uh, necessity for that tenant referencing part of the process? Oh no, definitely. It's like you know, I, and I think you know, you know, being hand on heart, I think we've been a little bit guilty. You know, we were offering, uh, you know, referencing was 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 our carrot to bring bring business people into the business. Um, and I think one of the I said one of the things I mentioned before about the fact that one of the opportunities we had during the the the, the the gap in uh, COVID uh, was to work on our referencing and how we can improve that and give agents choice. Um, we only had one reference pre-COVID. So that was it, take it or leave it. If you want the platform, you have to do your referencing that way. We've oh. now developed 
four different types of referencing. Uh, so depending on how you want to reference, depending on how your business works, the kind of clients you're working with, whether you want a premium service or whether or not you want to have a, a very basic uh, student led uh, reference, um, we're able to give agents the option now to choose what fits around their business rather than asking them to make sure they fit around ours um, okay. and still, obviously still cost effective. Excellent. And, and uh, on the on the uh, good Lord saving you money angle, just give us a give us uh, some more detail there. How can you help help agents out on that in that area? Yeah. So, um, well, in terms of obviously, we talked about saving time. Um, so, saving time should absolutely help you save money, but also it should definitely make you make money as well. Um, so, whether or not you want to use that time to go home so the kids can recognise you again, or whether or not you want to use that time to win more landlords. Um, a lot of our agents recently have found the time to actually revisit old landlords. So if you've been a business that's probably been trading for 10 years, you've probably got close to 100 landlords at least that stopped using your service. So now yeah. it's been given the time for them to revisit those opportunities, which has been great. Um, so, so obviously, you know, the biggest factor is obviously time. Uh, but in addition to that, um, we've obviously looked at improving, um, improving conversions on our products that continues to improve every day. Uh, so some of the best conversions in the marketplace, but also looking at existing products and uh, insurance is another one. Once again, looking at existing products in terms of how can we still have the best products in the market, but how can we deliver it alongside quality referencing to make sure that the claim rates are at a point where we can consistently offer a great product at great value, which means that agents can obviously earn uh, off the back of that and landlords are protected and happy. Great. Of course, because I've seen, you know, far too many products that actually have been really, really good technically, but have actually failed because uh, they haven't had the support and backup to, to get, you know, to get people on boarded in the right way and everything else there. I, I suspect you're going to tell me <laughs> that's obviously not the case, given the size of the team there. But tell, an, tell me what an agent could expect if they're going to onboard with you, how quick it takes to get set up on the system, you know, and, and really and really start, you know, when are you at full, uh, you know, 100% using the system? Yeah. So so typically, um, once an agent has, has um, signed contracts with us and is happy to move ahead, um, it would take anywhere between three and five days to get them live on the platform. A lot of that would depend on how bespoke um, they want their contracts and their services. Uh, but within five days, uh, we should be able to get them live on the platform. Um, in terms of the journey they go through with Good Lord, um, they start with our onboarding team. And they stay within that team for the first four to six weeks at least. Um, and yeah. that's to make sure that they have a clear understanding of how, you, how to use the platform and use it effectively. Um, if revenue, revenue generation is important to them at that point and a key factor for why they came on, we'd also spend quite a bit of time with them working on that. But really the fundamental part is making sure that we get that user experience into your business and to your customers as quickly as possible. Then once we're happy and the customer's happy that um, that they're, they're clear on our systems, it is changed, different referencing criteria and so on. Once they're happy with that, we'll then move them on to their success manager and they stay with that success manager throughout their journey. And that success yeah. manager it you know, does what it says on the tin. They're there to make sure that they're reaching their goals, goals, whether it was about saving time, whether it was about earning more revenue uh, or whether it was about just delivering a better experience. So they'll understand what the customer needs. Um, and the great thing is, obviously, they're looking after anywhere between 50 to 100 customers each. So once again, a bit like myself back in the early days, we can share best practice and how you people are using stuff effectively. Uh, yeah. And if you do, it's a great journey. You've got a big shout out here from John Broyley, just saying great to see you, Costa. So it's great to see you, John. Your fan club's found you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so at the moment, of course, there's a, 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 I think it's, it was happening anyway, but as usual, the pandemic has kind of uh, heightened it. Uh, it appears to me that customer service uh, standards are splitting. You know, the good agents are getting better. The other ones are just getting left behind. How are you able to help the agents, obviously, improve uh, and, and deliver their own uh, better customer service? Yeah, I think, well, you know, I think if you look back, you know, I've, I've been in this for 15 years and the thing that I've seen, the trend that I've seen and where we are today is landlords and tenants are a lot more demanding. Um, I think if we, look, if we look back probably even five years ago, um, yeah. tenants did what they were told, otherwise they didn't get the property. There were people lining yeah. up outside. Um, but now tenants have choice. 
Um, so you have to have a relationship. And I think a, a lot of the good that we do is actually giving agents back the time to actually create those relationships. Um, and also, and also we, because we take care of a lot of the compliance and the worries and a lot of the uh, additional frills are automated through, um, it means that they can focus on the really important stuff, which is dealing with the immediate queries, the immediate, you know, the boiler breaking down or, or um, you know, supporting uh, the reference you're not going through. They can deal with the really important stuff within that journey um, and, and leave the rest to us, the bits that they don't need to step into, uh, just be very visible to their customers. That's great. So let's just let's just summarise all this then. So if you're an agent and you're looking to, as you just spoke about there, really, uh, you want a, a cross compliance off your off your list. That vital, uh, yet not overly exciting, but uh, but absolutely necessary part of the business. There's a big tick next to that. Obviously, the ability to increase your revenue. Yeah, of course, who, who would want that ability there? And then that that final point again, you just touched on there. Really maintaining the relationship. Uh, with 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 all of your clients, but certainly tenants and landlords, and to ultimately, let's hope, win more landlords at the end of the day. I think that that, that strikes me as the really you know succinct uh, uh, benefits that good lord can really get across to people, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I say we, we we're here to help. Excellent. And so you've been really kind, I think, like uh, like many are these days for for the, the wonderful Kafuffle family here. Uh, I think you've got a little deal for our for our troops, haven't you? Um, do, do you want Do you want to just give an overview of that if they uh, if they sign it with you? No, absolutely. So yes, yeah, so if any uh, if any Kafuffle members uh, want to give us a call, uh, it's a no obligation demonstration. Um, see what we have. See whether or not you feel it will fit within your business. If you decide it's the right thing for you. Um, they were offering all Kafuffle members their twenty, the first twenty tenancies um, free across our platform. Um, so you won't pay any platform charges for the first twenty twenty uh, tenancies that you put through. Um, so and that's available to all Kafuffle members. Just please make sure when you do call us, if you don't come straight through from Kafuffle, um, to make sure that you tell us you're a Kafuffle member, so you don't lose out on the opportunity. They'll be wearing the merch, Costas. Come on, it should be it should be obvious if, on, on on a Zoom call anyway. Uh, no, thank you very much. <laughs> no, thank you for that. It's really, it is really kind of you. Thank you. Our, our members will be uh, will be thankful of that. Uh, and just advise them again. Really, have a look, obviously, at the uh, at the um, at your landing page, obviously on the site. You can see a bit more information about the company as well. Uh, you are absolutely. Uh, Five star rated here, and I think you know. Actually, looking at your website as well, you're you're you know you're incredibly highly rated uh, across all the review platforms, from what I can see. So you know that really important thing we always encourage people to do is do make sure you do do your due diligence because I think you know uh, that there is a big big difference in some of the providers out there, and of course you want to make sure this is uh, you know a partner with the business rather than just a supplier to the business. And I think Costas, you do that. Uh, do that really well and just the little the little uh my lovely little elves in the background have just put that up for us as well there so there you go if you want to find out just put that in there is an inquire form and that will make its way th through to costas and his team and i'm sure that they'll come back to you um let's just if it's all right with you costas thanks for that just 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 uh, as a, on a finishing point there do you uh do you have integrations with this any of the crm currently and if so which ones uh and can you talk about if any are on the horizon as well uh, i don't give too much away but obviously uh okay. the one that's probably been uh the one that's been shouted out the most uh re most recently was repit um uh, so obviously we are, we're one of the first people to integrate into the foundations platform um but uh, obviously we work with yeah, exactly. and others as well sorry no, just it's, it's really exciting that to see one of the first, obviously, foundations was there. And just uh, was that uh, was that a pleasant experience to work with? Is it is it has it done everything you've needed it to do? Yeah, no, I think I think once again, you know, it's that perfect it's that perfect fit in terms of um, the part of the journey that they do exceptionally well, and then we we slide we slide in between that gap. And we and say all, the only thing that was missing was obviously the automation of sending over all the documents, sending over the landlord, tenant, property details, so that we could pick up the baton, take it to take it to the end of the tenancy, uh, the pre-tenancy process, and then hand back all the documents, all the uh, all the information, all the payments that were needed back into their the CRM, so that they uh, they had everything in one place and they knew where anything was at one at one time. So um, it's been a really good a really good start for us. Um, we've already got a lineup of uh, of agents that are coming on 
both existing customers and new customers that have been waiting for the integration um, before they before they committed to us. So uh, it's been really, really positive. So repeat clients there, give Costas a ring, it sounds like. We want to test that. Great. Okay, Costas, thank you very much for joining us. Look forward to catching up with you soon when we're allowed to again. Uh, and best of luck with the business. Fantastic. Thank you all. Thanks for the time.